Uh, it's a symbol which you see in the book very often. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't specify this, but I, I'll comment on this in a second. So what is it? This is a vector space, as the V here is my vector space. It's a collection of all, well, that's a symbolic writing. Look at this. I, I'll take you for this writing. Look at this. Uh, this symbol, this symbol, in the context of the vector space, it, it is the following quadruple. The field of scalars here, real numbers, plus and dot, I will define in a second. Let's just discuss this symbol first. This symbol, it's a collection of all of, of these notations. And this is a standard abbreviation for matrices of size M times N. So every time I write something like this, a little Latin letter with two indices in the brackets, and the entries of my matrices are real numbers, is the expansion for this. It's the matrix with the following entries, A11, A12, First row, all the way un until A1N. Second index, it's the row index. Oh, sorry, column index. Sorry, column index. Second index is a column index. Second row, A21, A22, all the way to A2N. Many rows like this. The last one is AM for Mary 1, M2, M, N. So, because it's, it's difficult to write or to type this large object every time we invent or mathematician just suggested the following abbreviation like this first index is a row index uh, second index is a column index so the collection of all these matrices all of these tables of numbers with entries from real from real numbers they will be a vector space if you supply them with operation plus and dot like this if you have two matrices one of them with the entries labeled A, J, K, and the other one is matrix B with the entries little b, J, K, like this. Then you add your matrices by constructing a new matrix of the same size and by adding entries one by one. And you scale your matrix by constructing a new matrix of the same size and by, and by scaling every entry individually. You see, I'm using my abbreviation all the time. And that saves lots of space. If, if, I, if I try to write here the whole block like this, it will take huge space. Your hand will go tired by the end of it, but the effect will be the same. So that this is the efficient abbreviation. Lambda is a scaler here. Uh, by analogy, by analogy, you can also consider the vector space of matrices with complex entries. By analogy, you can do this by analogy. I'm not going to do, do it the same way. The same way we the same way we consider the CN, the class of n tuples, uh, over the uh, like a in comparison to the Rn, the class of uh, n tuples with real numbers, you can do but you can do the same development here. By analogy, you can you can consider matrices with complex entries rather than real entries. You can do that. And actually, this sort of symbol you will see in yellow book very often as well. 